5 Science Backed Ways to Lose Belly Fat 1. Accept that your behaviors will adjust. A big part of weight loss is simply being aware of the decisions you're making. For example, when out at happy hour with friends, you may lose track of how much you're eating or drinking. But if you take a split second to step back and become aware of that fact, you're able to course correct. The awareness and then planning for what else I can be doing, that might give me the same benefit of eating comfort foods, says Gagliardi. 2. Track your calories. The most basic approach to weight loss is burning more calories than you consume. For instance, since 3,500 calories equals one pound of fat, a weight loss app, or even just a pen and paper, can help you decide how many calories you need to cut from your diet or burn at the gym in order to meet your goals. If you were to burn 500 more calories per day seven days a week, that would lead to 3,500 calories in a week and one pound of weight loss, says Gagliardi. 3. Eat more fiber. Foods that are high in refined carbs and sugar don't actually tame your hunger, so you end up reaching for more. Instead, eat more fibrous foods like whole grain breads, oats, vegetables, fruits, beans, legumes, and chia seeds. They fill you up more, says Dr. Cheskin, as fiber helps slow your digestion. A 2015 study from the Annals of Internal Medicine showed that for those who have a hard time following a strict diet, simplifying the weight loss approach by just increasing fiber intake can still lead to weight loss. Women should aim for at least 25 grams of fiber per day, based on a 2,000-calorie diet, according to the most recent U.S. Dietary Guidelines. Start with our high-fiber diet plan. 4. Walk every day. If you don't have an established exercise routine, walking is a pretty good entry point for people, says Gagliardi. One small study published in the Journal of Exercise Nutrition and Biochemistry found that obese women who did a walking program for 50 to 70 minutes three days per week for 12 weeks significantly slashed their visceral fat compared to a sedentary control group. Starting slow and working your way up is better than overdoing it and giving up, says Gagliardi. An easy way to approach it, commit to going for a quick 10-minute walk after dinner, and slowly increase the time as you become more comfortable with daily movement. 5. Begin strength training. It's important to do full-body strength training if you want to lose belly fat, especially if you're trying to keep it off for the long haul. Strength training should be a part of just about everybody's exercise plan, says Dr. Cheskin. That's because strength training helps you build muscle, which will replace body fat. And because muscle is metabolically active, you'll continue to burn calories after working out, thereby, reducing overall body fat. Bonus, when your metabolic rate becomes faster due to muscle growth, you'll have a little more wiggle room in your diet if that's something you struggle with, says Dr. Cheskin.